What's going on guys? My name is Wade with Tech Daily. So nowadays, our computers pretty much store our entire life. We have pictures of family and friends, important documents and files, backups of other devices, schoolwork, projects, the list goes on. And with all that valuable stuff being stored in one place, there's a pretty good chance that from time to time, something could get deleted by mistake. Whether you accidentally empty the trash or wipe an SD card clean without knowing, or even worse, if your computer crashes or gets affected by a virus, there's nothing worse than something so important important and irreplaceable seemingly being gone forever. Fortunately, if you accidentally deleted something important or perhaps something terrible happened to your computer that caused you to lose some important files, there is a way you can likely get it all back. In this video, I'm gonna go over how you can use the Recover It tool from the folks over at Wondershare to locate and recover deleted files from your computer. This is a really powerful program that can recover just about anything, whether you deleted something from the trash or your computer crashed completely. The free tool allows you to search potentially thousands of deleted files from weeks or even months in the past, which could allow you to find whatever it is that went missing. And buying the full program will allow you to completely recover those lost files as well. I want to thank Wondershare for making this video possible, and without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and walk you guys through the program and how it works, and ultimately how you can find and recover almost anything that might have disappeared. Of course, the first thing you're going to need to do is download the Recover It program to your computer. I'll have a link down below in the video description to this website, but you can also just search for Recover It on Google or visit the Wondershare website to find it as well. Now the best part here is that it doesn't matter if you had this program before your files went missing or if you're downloading it days or even weeks afterwards. It will still be able to recover that missing stuff. It's available for both Windows and Mac, so choose the correct link for your computer and click the button to download the program. I'm on a Mac here, so this is what it looks like if you're installing it on Mac OS. You'll just agree to the terms of service, allow the download to mount, and then drag and drop the Recover It program into your Applications folder so you can launch it. Check your applications folder to make sure that Recover It was downloaded and installed properly, and when you know that everything is good to go, we can start up the program and get started. Now, this is the default homepage of the program, and you can see that there are a ton of options here for recovering deleted files. I'm going to go ahead and go over each of the options here one at a time so you know what they are and how they might be able to help you, and then I'll walk you through how you can go about locating and recovering a file. The first option here is a deleted file recovery, and this will allow you to find files that might have been accessed accidentally deleted by a user or lost due to a power outage. Like if your computer suddenly shut down due to a storm or came unplugged and whatever you were working on ended up lost. The next option is probably the most useful and that's trash recovery. This option will allow you to scour the files that were deleted from the trash can or recycle bin. So if you happen to drag and drop something to the trash and emptied it, you can actually get those files back with this option. You can recover deleted files on a formatted hard disk that might have been lost as well. If you partitioned your hard drive, say for example you have a Windows partition on your Mac that was deleted or lost, you can recover those files as well. There's also an external device recovery option, so deleted files on an external hard drive, a flash drive, or an SD card, for example, can also be recovered using this tool. If your computer acquired a virus, you can use this tool to find files that might have been affected by that virus. If your system crashed completely or failed to boot, there is also the ultimate option for recovering files. And finally, there's an all-around scan and recovery option that will search for potentially all the files that have been deleted so you can execute a widespread search. One thing to note before we get started, if you're on Mac OS and running High Sierra, the program is going to ask you to disable system integrity protection. It outlines the steps on how to do that, but basically what you need to do is boot into recovery mode, launch terminal, and type in the command it asks you to in step 3. Once you do that, you'll be able to get started with the program, and I highly recommend writing down these steps or taking a picture of them before you do this, just to make sure you get everything done correctly. Okay, so with all that out of the way, I'm going to show you guys guys a couple of ways you can use this program to find some deleted files. The first option I'll use is the deleted files recovery mode, and as soon as you click on that, the program will immediately start scanning for all of the deleted files it can find. Now depending on how large your hard drive is and how many files you might have, this step could take a few minutes. I went ahead and sped this up a bit so we can get right to the point, but it took me two or three minutes before the program was done scanning. After the scan is complete, it's going to give you a list of all the folders and files that might have been accidentally deleted and you can click through the different items to find what you need. It works just the same way as clicking through the regular folders on your computer, so if you know that you deleted something in downloads or in pictures or wherever, you should be able to find it in the appropriate location. If you want to sort through the files and folders only from a certain time period to make things easier, you can see items that were modified today, this last week, over the last month, or even during a custom date range. So if you know, for example, you deleted something back in November, you can get those dates and it'll list those files and folders to make things easier. There 
there is also a pretty robust search function as well. So if you know the name of the file and want to get right to the point, you have that option as well. Next, I want to walk you through the emptied trash recovery option because I think that's just as important. It works much of the same way here. As soon as you click on that option, the program will once again start a scan of all the items that were deleted from your trash or recycle bin, and it will present you with a list of the items in their respective folders. Once again, the scan does take a few minutes, so I sped things up here to make it a little easier to see. But once the scan is complete, you're able to look through and find whatever it is that might have been deleted from your trash where you can then recover it. The last option I want to show you guys, which I think is really powerful, is the external devices recovery option. This allows you to restore deleted files from USB drives, SD cards, external hard drives, cameras, and anything else that might plug directly into your computer. All you have to do is connect up whatever device you want to search through, in my case it's an SD card from my camera, then refresh the program so that it recognizes it, make sure the proper device is selected, and then hit scan. Again, the program is going to go ahead and scan potentially all of the deleted files from that particular drive and hopefully show you the correct stuff that you were looking for. This works just the same way as the other options, so all the folders and files are laid out for you and you can then click through and hopefully find whatever it is that might have been accidentally deleted or erased. If you maybe aren't sure when something was deleted or even where it was deleted from, you can of course use the all around recovery option and this will scan the potentially millions of files across all the devices and drives associated with your computer to hopefully find whatever it is that went missing. Now because this option is going to scan so many files, this will take quite a while to complete, but after this scan is done, you'll have essentially all of the deleted files and folders from the various drives and connected devices from your computer, and you should be able to find and recover just about anything that might have gone missing. Now when you do locate the important file you accidentally deleted, you will have to purchase the full version of the Recover It software tool in order to restore it back to your computer. The prices vary depending on if you're on a PC or Mac, and they have a few licensing options as well. In my opinion though, for $39.95 for Windows and $79.95 for Mac, I think having a program like this on your computer is well worth the investment. I have files and pictures and projects on my hard drive that are absolutely irreplaceable, so the relatively low cost of Recover It makes sense, since what I would be restoring could potentially be worth way more hours of work or sentimental value than a few bucks for the software. The nice part is, the free version still allows you to scan and search for the files anyway, so you can be 100% sure you found what you're looking for before throwing any money down, which is great, and I think that speaks to the legitimacy of the software as a whole. In my own experience, the program showed me files and pictures that had long been deleted years ago now, and I was thoroughly impressed with just how powerful it was. If you've lost something important on your computer, this is the tool I'd recommend for finding it, and at the end of the day, shelling out just a little bit of money for a program like this could potentially save a lifetime of work that would otherwise be irreplaceable. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions about this software, let me know in the comments down below and I'll try my best to help out if I can. Also, be sure to follow Tech Daily on Twitter and subscribe to the Tech Daily YouTube channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later.